Good morning, everybody. Been up for a little while, but I'm running behind. So I'm just getting plugged up and getting ready for the sale. My phone's upside down. Let me see if it'll let me flip it. Woo! Uh, so this is last minute. I just put this stream up. Um, Lord, I'm taking you all on a roller coaster ride. Okay. So, oh, I scored this pretty blanket at a free garage sale. So I have to keep it because I kind of feel like if it was free, I can't really sell it. It's not nice. There is one free item we picked up that didn't fit anybody. So I'm, you know, got it. So we can sell that one. Let me pull up YouTube on the on the interwebs. Oh, look, it's my little up. Oh. And we decorated the Christmas tree, and it says, "Welcome to the Nut House." Let me mute me. Okay. So now I can see comments. I'll be my first like. Woo! -woo. The only one watching me. So I'm gonna type hello. Good morning. I've to say good morning. Bruno likes to be a um, moving roadblock and he sits in people's way and we have some people that have a hard time walking. Bruno has a hard time walking too. And so, you know, he's a slow mover. We got two people watching now. Me and somebody else. Hello, mystery viewers. Is it your mom? Nope, he says. Um. So, and I got everybody's stuff out. That's why I didn't go live yesterday. I wanted to make sure it got caught up on shipping. And since I moved, everything's all discombobulated. But I got it all done. All the invoices are out. I'm looking for Catherine Hegel. I don't know if I have the right info for her. So if anybody knows her, let her know I'm looking for her. And... Do, 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 do. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Everybody say good morning. Good morning. Okay. I have this thing, and it was mine because I love this style of pottery. <gasps> Blue! Good morning, Blue. Good morning, Heavenbound. Good to see you. It's been a minute. So, this is one of my little planters, and I always like the Japanese green style ones. Sometimes they have like elephants or pandas on them. Well, this one's got little leaves and Let me know if y'all can't hear me. Um, it's got like a little pumpkin on it. It looks like maybe this is a pumpkin. Here's the bottom. So I think it was a studio pottery because there's like a little, you know, symbol down there. And the inside is kind of clean. It had a lot of floral foam in there and rocks and stuff. And so there's that. And of course, I'll wipe it out before I send it. But it's super adorable. And it's... <laughs> Ah, and it's got chip right here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but it's okay. I still love it. And you can't even really tell. Let's see. And it feels like, I don't know, maybe a flea bite here, but you can't, you can't see it. You can feel it. Which I guess, oh, and look, another little thing there. But anyways, it's gorgeous. It's great. I guess I'll do it. Six dollars since it has all that damage, which kills me because I love this thing. If you're like a pixie land collector, I think it would look cute with your pixies or anything. Just if you're a plant person, I know a lot of people have to bring their plants in during the winter. Make a great succulent holder. Six dollars. Numero uno. Number one. And... 
I didn't bring a notebook or a pen. Well, I have a notebook. And I need a pen, an ink, a pen, a pen. Anybody have a chow? Or know anybody with a chow dog? Thank you. Thank you, baby. Numero uno is the planter. I'm going to say pumpkin. Japan. Six dollar. Okay. This is a chow. He's got a purple tongue. He's cute as can be. He's probably one of those handmade brooches just because he's he feels like plastery. And I don't know. Everything about him says chow to me, especially because he's got the purple tongue. And he's kind of a big one. He's not huge, but you know, he's a good size. And he's going to be $4. And we're going to do number three. $4 number three for the chow brooch. Chow. Chow, chow. Good, mor good morning, Linda. Good to see you. <gasps> Laura with the good aura. If you guys don't know Laura, because I know some of us cross communities, um, she's really good at selling stones and jewelry and stuff like that. And if you're into collecting like stones, um, she's got the bre best breast. Oh Lord, I'm so sorry, Laura. She's got the best prices, <laughs> and um, I don't know who her source is, but she gets really good quality stones. It's not like, here's this stone, but it's really cut dyed glass. She's got the good stuff. Jeannie, good morning, Chicago lady. Okay, so, so far, you guys, I've shown my chipped up little planner for $6 that I love to pieces. There's one chip there. And then I have, you got those too. Oh, <laughs> the cut glass ones. Uh, and this one is and this one was four dollars and it's number three um i do have some brooches but they came from an antique place so they're kind of a little bit more expensive i guess i could do them as offer ups since so i don't charge too much for it you want to try that yeah. okay because these all yeah i'm gonna start them at um $14. This is a little rooster. So I'm going to go ahead. 14 starting bid. Whoop. And he's very colorful. He's got yellow enamel feet. He's got little orange rhinestones. A little black eye. He's got his little... He's so cute. So if you know anybody who is obsessed with roosters, this would make a great gift. And I don't know how far behind I am. I'll go ahead and show that, and I'll go in once, <gasps> and I'm uh, going twice, and I'm going to say we're going to be passing on that. I don't think we have the brooch people today. Oh, I picked up these earrings, and they're gorgeous. Okay, this is fashion jewelry. I'm looking at the laptop. And they're little red flowers, and they've got bling bling. Oh, oh, I've got a crown. Hello, my friends. I'm Pinky Patel. Um, and it's got little uh, diamond looking rhinestones around it. They're very sparkly, very pretty. They have that vintage look to them. And these are going to be four dollars. And this is going to be number seven. Four dollars, number seven for the beautiful floral earrings. Oh, anybody interested in little golden books? Because I have some of those too. Ah, look, my girl Angie in the house. Real, real housewives. Thank you, girl. Okay, Blue Flamingo, Chicago Lady. Linda, I'm not sure which side of the community you follow on. I got you down for that, Angie. But 
Maybe you're a crown type. Oh, no. I'm not a crown type bride. I want one of them long whales. How much are Lucite candlesticks going for these days? Um, because I know they're super popular. Oh. Yeah, I had a rooster for 14 He came from an antique store. I don't think he's antique, but he's really cool. You're welcome. So, like, I don't know what to ask, like, where I would start these at. But they're super fancy, super nice, lucite candles. And I don't know if anybody can give me um, some direction with those. Let me know. Sold rooster. <laughs> Got you, Angie. Thank you. Okay. And thank you, Laura. I'm coming back for him if he's not sold after Christmas. Yeah. Um, uh, polished stone in it. Y'all can't see me without my crown. Hello, my friends. Okay, every time I put it on, I have to say it like that. It's got amethyst in it, and he's a little elephant, and he's adorable. And he could also be a necklace. And I'm going to start him out at $14 as well. And we'll see where he goes. But how often, I mean, I love elephants, but how often do you see an elephant with an amethyst stone? So if you have a February baby, or if you're a February baby, or, you know, know anybody born in February, it's their birthstone. Good, good like that. And he's so cute. He's just so cute. Okay. And so we're going to do a go on once. Go on twice. Oh, i got to slow down. I'm on the lag. Okay. And I'm going to pull a lar, do fair warning. And we're going to pass on the elephant. But he's cute. Okay. Let me see if I got some cheaper, cheaper brooches for you guys. I know it's the holidays. Everybody trying to save money. I feel you guys. Okay. Sagittarius? Is this the right one? I always say the wrong name. Also, a Sina, Sina somebody. Sin you. I'm not sure. Somebody gave me the real name of this. But he's sparkly. He's very pretty. Um... Hey, maybe even when Valentine's Day comes up, he might be considered a Valentine's Day thing because he got that arrow. But he is two, about two inches wide and two inches tall. And this is a fashion brooch. And it's going to be $8. And it is number two, two, like me, second but not the best. Close, but not the best. Something like that. Two, stop. There's that. I said, what, $7 number two? I forget the real name of those things. Somebody tells me every time, and I forget. Okay. Let's see what else I got over here. Centaur. Thank you, Tammy Bennett. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Centaur. So if you're interested in a centaur, he's seven dollars. I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna start saying cent centaur so I remember. Okay. Here's another little bitty birch. It's cute. It's cute. It's old fashioned. Well, I don't know what it is. I think it's vintage actually. It's got three rhinestones there. Um, it's silver tone, and it's got a little, you know. Roll over, do diddy clasp. And this one's going to be $4. Numero 11. Because I can't say 11 in Spanish. $4. Numero 11. For the pretty little 
Whoopty woo brooch. I'm going to call it whoopty woo brooch. And then when I go to package it, if it sells, I'll have no idea what I'm talking about. Whoopty brooch. Okay. I need to do something to know what this is. I don't know. I need a name for that brooch. Okay, my friends. Um, I do have, and y'all can consider this my merch since I'm not famous and I don't have merch yet. Y'all know I like the all C and I. I'm probably the only one because I get, I get left with it all. But this one's very beautiful. It's got like some kind of soft enamel in the center. It's bling bling on the top, bling bling around the lids. And Pew Bruno. Whew. Good morning. And it's just a, a stick pin. It's not like a bro brooch. It's a, more like a pin. And this bad boy is going to be $8. Yeah. What, babe? And it is number four. $8, number four for the all seeing eye type of bling bling jewel brooch. Morning. Yes, I'm cold, Carrie Dean. <laughs> I'm in my big my big um uh, jammies and they're great like wearing long footy pajamas. But when you gotta go pee at night, it gets cold. So this is eight dollars number four for the eye. And then also I have this eye and it's pretty fancy schmancy it's got a little teardrop there so if you're in a gang and you killed somebody is that what that represents you get the teardrop so, so it's like that <laughs> and but anyway i think it's super pretty eight dollars number let's just go with number five eight dollars number five staying alive on the pearl teardrop eye brooch. Oh, what is that? <laughs> okay, anybody like football? I like, um, what's that one where they have to pass the ball backwards? It's like football overseas. It's real rugby. football. Rugby. I love rugby. That's how football should be. No pads. Tackle each other. Okay, here's a little football man. He does what little football men can. And he's got a little helmet. He looks like a... Oh, he's a football. I was about to say he looks like a potato. <laughs> he's got a football in his hand. Oh my god, look. He's got private school shoes. And... <laughs> so I don't know if your kid plays football. Maybe their team's red. Um, This little guy... It's going to be $4, and he is number eight. $4, number eight for the little football. And happy holidays to you, Carrie T. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello. I really do appreciate it. He's happy. He looks like he's got, like, um, oxygen in his nose. Okay. What do you guys want to see? Anybody want to see something special? Anything in particular? Okay, I got this really cool piece of pottery. You've probably seen it already. I think I put it on eBay, but I don't know yet. Um, and it's a key cat. And he's got little olive-like eyes and then a cute little nose. And somebody made this with their own little hands. You can see where the little fingers made the ears. And so he opens up like this. And his tail wraps around his body. Kind of. I may have made that up. It wraps around the front of his body. And you put your little paper clips, your little doodads, your little whatever you want in there. And he is six dollars, number twelve, for the cat, the pottery cat. Six dollars, number twelve. And if Jane's out there in TV land, 
the other day, Jane lost her electricity. That's why she couldn't make it. And then I was like, yeah, join me for a sale on Monday. And then it didn't have a sale. So, Jane, if you're out there, let me know. I sent you the link by the emails. So you're more than welcome to join in if you would like. Oh, where's my Belinda Carol? I should have just sent this in her box. So this is a cute silver tone angel. I know she loves the Christmas brooches. And here's the back side. It's got a little hook to make it a pendant. And there's the pin part. And I think she's gorgeous. She has like some tarnishing or something going on where she's a little darker in some places. But she's cute. It does have some kind of thing right here. I don't know, magnifying glass maybe? VJ. What is VJ? MJ? Michael Jackson? Michael Jordan? Let me see that. I'm about to look. I hope nobody's like, hurry up. I'm about to turn the light on in my face. MJ. Who's MJ? Does anybody know the jewelry designer MJ? Michael Jordan. I don't know. Michael Jackson. Six dollars for this beautiful angel. Number 10. Six dollars, number 10 for this angel branch. Okay. Anybody like scatter pins? Anybody like to scatter their pins up on their jackets? Anyone love owls? We have this tea tiny, tea tiny owl pin. He's got um, a pin like that. So he's not a tack pin. And he's got rhinestones all throughout him and little black eyes. And he's got his little eyebrows. So what is that, a barn owl? I'm not too sure. Come on. Come on. There he is. Okay. And he's cute. And he's going to be $6. Number 32. I don't know where that number came from, but $6, number 32 for the little owl scatter pin brooch. Ow. Ow. Okay. So I have a full set of six of these glasses. Um, they're Egyptian style. I think it's Wedgwood that makes this type of stuff. On the bottom, it looks like H-A. That's the marking, so I'm not really sure what that stands for. I know. Research, Elizabeth. Sometimes I sell things for way less than their value. But anyway, I think these are like little juice glasses. They're smaller. And so there's one, two, three, four, five, and I have another one laying around somewhere. And it's not too often you see the blue ones. You see the green ones a lot. And the set of six will be eighteen dollars. Number thirty-four, which is not how old I am. Oh, there's a, and here's the other one. So they're very cool, like hieroglyphics. Very, very pretty. And then, you know, they're in good shape. These are for nice. Usually you store these in your china cabinet and just look at them. Okay, $18 Egyptian glasses. That might be something Dolores likes. She likes e Egyptology and Egypt stuff. Okay. Hazel Atlas, you might be, oh my god, great, that might be, very well, it might be what that is, H-A, Hazel Atlas, Hi, I'm gonna write that next to it, I think you're right, I don't know who else would be H-A, thank you, thank you, Tammy, okay, oh, I'm 
Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm like digging through my drawer and I'm like, I want to keep this and I want to keep that. It's so hard sometimes. I'm trying to. Where's my little. Okay, here it is. I swear I'm organized, y'all. I swear. I'm lying. I'm lying. I can't lie. <gasps> okay, here's some cool brooches that I got at an affordable price. If anybody's into brooches. Um, we have, this is like some type of plastic polymer. It's a bull. Don't mess with the bull or you get the horn. So if you're like a Taurus or you're a Western type person, um, you love cows or bulls. I'm sorry. Bulls have horns, right? And this little brooch. <laughs> Okay, it's going to be $4, and it is number, oh, I already used number four, $4, number 24. He's very cute, and you can't tell he's plastic. They might think he's ivory. Ah, I'm glad he didn't go in my coffee. So there's that beautiful bean footage. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm gonna make you come on camera with me. <laughs> She's so excited, y'all, Miss Virginia. She made her first two sales at the live sale. And I went and I paid her, and she was like, Woohoo, I got money! Okay. You make me laugh. <laughs> so I want us this. <laughs> it's senior day at Goodwill. And when she takes me with her, she said, she's with me. And the people just give me the discount. It's great. <laughs> I don't know why they so willing. They're just, you didn't even, we didn't even ask them. They just did it. Okay. This is really cool. What? Don't tell all my secrets. I don't thrift this stuff. I pay lots of money. No, I'm kidding. It's a French horn. <laughs> it's got his little keys there, and they look like little, um, what you doodles? Like capiche shell almost. Maybe that's what it is. And it's a French horn. And there's a back. It's got a safety clasp. It's a pretty little brooch. It's just so adorable. Let's do this. Oh, focus in on it. Oh, look at that. And it's going to be $5. Number 26. $5. Number 26 for this French horn bridge. And don't forget, guys, with everything you purchase, I put you in a drawing for a giveaway at the end of the sale. And if I can sell 15 items, I'll do a drawing for free shipping. Oh! you did that's cool angie that was a hard like um the hardest torn i find for the people to like grasp um that's very cool french horn mad respect okay <laughs> oh my goodness and then <laughs> We have a very beautiful hummingbird brooch, and it is metal, obviously, and he looks like he's mixed metals, like silver and gold, and it's very pretty. It's got the long beak on it, and then on the back side, it has a hook to make it a pendant, and it's also got the clasp to make it a brooch. And, you know, hummingbirds are very special to a lot of people. They have multiple meanings. And this is going to be $7. Number 31. $7, number 31 for the beautiful hummingbird brooch. People are all making jokes by me. Somebody grabbed a knife. I don't know what's going to happen to me in a second, but y'all. Y'all keep watch. 
I love that the French horn's gone to a French horn player. That's cool. Okay. This one to me is beautiful. It says Jerusalem. And then it's like PXU. So I think maybe the people that visited could have been like Japanese or Asian. And then it says to my love on the back. And then it says pile piece. So maybe that's what they made this out of. But it's a lacquered piece of wood. And I like the fact that it says it's from Jerusalem on the back. I've never picked up anything that was from Jerusalem. But it does have the little writing in there. And they made it a little pen. And it's very beautiful. I think it's super special. It's $12. And it is number 33, $12, number 33 for the Jerusalem brooch. And it's got history to my love. Like how sweet is that? Oh, we've got some lights. These are Monopoly lights. Um, they have the cord down there in the bottom. And it's got the little dogs and the cars and the game board. And then it's got the stacks of cash. So basically you look along this line and it shows you how the lights will look. The cord's down here in the bottom. And it's by Party Lights. It's a 10-piece fun light set. And it's for adults only. So do not give this Monopoly to children. And it says this is not a toy. And you can you use it indoors and it's got end-to-end -end connector for up to three light sets and a special special blinker bulb is included and that's where you put the blinker fluid that's where you put the blinker fluid and how much did you pay for this he doesn't know probably around 15 bucks so i'm just gonna say 15 dollars and this will be number 40, $15, number 40 for the Monopoly light set, which is pretty fancy, if you ask me. Look how fancy. Your neighbors would be like, where do they get all their money? How did they buy that light set? We look so fancy. Okay. I'm watching. Oh, I gotta keep an eye out in case I get a guest. If Jane, if you appear, let me know in the chat so I can let you in. Okay, this. See, I don't know if anybody's in the mood for brooches today. I don't know. I guess it has to be the right person for the right brooch. Oh my goodness, this one's beautiful. Okay, I don't know what's my obsession with emeralds this year, but this is like a faux emerald brooch drop brooch and it's got little citrine tone stones around it it's gorgeous it's gorgeous here's the back side and there's the front side and it hangs and this bad boy is twelve dollars and it is number forty two Twelve dollars, number forty-two for the emerald tone, faux emerald brooch. Y'all know I couldn't sell a real emerald for twelve dollars. I hope. And Monopoly lights. Okay. Angie, you're looking good for the drawing today. <laughs> so far, you're the only entry. <laughs> so there's that. And. What else did I have emerald? In case there's some emerald lovers out here. I have this beautiful necklace. And I'm not sure if it's for a child. I mean, to me it would fit an adult. Oh my god, it met, it goes good with my crown. If my crown was emerald. But it's very sparkly and beautiful. And it is, vin I believe, vintage. But maybe not because it's so shiny. It's got that vintage, you know... Um, make. Here's the back. It's okay. I, I usually do a recap, Linda. And then here's the front. 
and this is twelve dollars and it is number 45 emerald necklace and let me count how many items I've done usually I like to do about 25 1 2 3 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to do smalls to keep everybody's weight low. But. Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay. This is a little planter with roses. It's very, like, romantic. It would look great in the bathroom with cotton balls. In your living room with potpourri. Um, in your vestibule with plants. Am I going to document my wedding adventures? Girl, I wanna, I've never tried on wedding dresses. I want to try every kind of dress they have. I would have to have a videographer with me. And then I'd have to wait till after the wedding because my husband can't see the dress. It's bad luck. But how do you take bridal photos? How do the girls... Okay. I'm sorry. Somebody explain this to me who's married. How do the girls... Oh, hey, Pamela13. Good to see you. I'm sorry. I missed you come in. And, um... How do you take bridal photos? Because they have the bridal photos where the girl's in her dress and the husband's in the suit. But he's not supposed to see the dress, so how do you... How does that happen? I'm confused. So, anyway, this is an adorable planter. It's got... Where is it? The world's tiniest little either nick or paint loss right there on the edge. But it, it matches. It looks right. It's got this really cool um, texture to it. Can you record what you don't pick? Yeah. That's a good idea. And um, so there's there's the inside. I'm getting all confused. Usually they're taken at the wedding. Okay. I got you. Because sometimes I'll be like, we're in a stream. But I guess, I don't know. Those are the people that, I don't know. So anyway, this is super beautiful. Miss Virginia picked this out. I think she did a lovely job. It's going to be $10, number 48. And this is for the rose bowl that isn't a rose bowl. Because it doesn't come in words at the top. But it looks like a rose bowl to me. And let me get you some measurements. And again, winter time, y'all be wanting to bring in those succulents and all that. Four and a half inches in diameter across the top. I think at its widest point, it's four and a half inches. <laughs> and its little base that it sits on is about three and a quarter inches. And thank you, Laura. Now I know. Usually they're taken at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Libras. I'm a Libra. Who's a Libra? I get along with Libra, so I won't be surprised. Yes, I have heard how Teresa's doing. Um, oh, thank you, Pamela. Yes, I am getting married. Um, she is back home. The surgery, like, the day of the surgery, I knew she was going to feel good because that's when they have you on the good drugs. So she thought, you know, Oh, it's great. I'm doing wonderful. And then the next day came where they do, you're a Libra, where they do um, walks or, you know, where they start doing physical therapy and they start to take you off the drugs in the um, drip. Oh, your son is a Libra. Well, this is $6, number 50. $6, number 50. And I think I have two. I might have two. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's a Libra brooch. But, um, what was I saying? What was I even talking about? Oh, so, yeah. So she had, you know, a rough second day, and they made her stay another night. She thought she'd be back home. And she is back home, but her, you know, her O2 levels, her oxygen levels are really low, and her blood pressure is really low. So they're ha her family's keeping an eye on her, and, um... Yeah, so she still needs prayers, you guys. Like, I think she thought she would bounce back a lot faster. And I've been through 
several years of physical therapy. So I know the knee surgeries aren't nothing to play with. They take a while to come back from. But I'm just happy, you know, she made it through the surgery. She didn't have any blood clots or anything like that. And just, you know, we got to pray that her oxygen level gets up there because she's naturally, she has a lower oxygen level. So if it's even lower than that, that's really not good. So prayer army, say prayers for Teresa. Okay. So that was a lever brooch. Uh, and he is $6. And you could just pin this on a bag. You could do whatever you want. You could like embed it on top of a jewelry box or something. I don't know. You guys, you can do whatever you like. I'm not telling you what to do. Lever brooch, number 50. Okay. Um... But I love Teresa and I miss her and I want to call her. No, knee surgeries are no joke. They take that little thing and they're like, you have to move your knee so many degrees. And these people, their faces grown men. It's, it's tough. I think you should just keep your wedding just for you and your family. That's a very personal, beautiful moment. Oh, Linda. It is. Okay. But I don't know. I don't know. I might vlog some of it. Because it's good to have, like, memories. Not the actual wedding, you know. But, like, getting ready for it. Because I'm getting married in February. Y'all, I haven't gotten a dress. I haven't picked a honeymoon location. I'm running late. I don't have a photographer. I don't have a person to marry us. <laughs> I got a lot to do. So this is a... Uh... Laura's like, I disagree. See, um, my husband, my future husband is, um, very, he's well known in the reseller community because he, he's always at the sales. So people know him. They just don't know him in real life. This is an Anne Klein necklace. It's beautiful. Um, Anne Klein to me is still really cool. I know it used to be like the shiznit back in the day. It's got the Anne Klein tag on it. And it's a really nice snake chain. Um, you know, it's faux gold. I don't think it's real gold. And it's a longer one. It does not adjust, so it stays long. And I can't. Okay. There it goes. It sits like right on top of your, the base of your sternum. What day? 222 22. 222 22, Pamela. So this is um, $12 and it is number 52 for the Ancline necklace. $12 number 52. Anybody want to see a wine box? Have y'all not seen the wine box? Anybody not seen my wine box yet? 2 22 It's going to be a lucky day, I'm telling you. It's like rain. Sorry. You don't have to live stream it or anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. No. I don't want to live stream the actual ceremony because it's pretty. Yeah, that's going to be personal. I, like, I'm so ready. I can do the vows off the top of my head. I don't even have to plan them. Oh, by the way, these aren't for sale, but guess what I scored? JaVinci earrings, you guys. They're going to go on eBay. I sold a JaVinci necklace for lots of money. Always look out for this brand, brand alert, JaVinci. G-I-V-E-N-C-H-Y. This stuff sells for good money. So you guys keep an eye out for that brand. I love it too, Pamela. Like, I know my grandma, the one I never met, that I'm supposed to be exactly like. She died, like, the year coming up to my birth, so I never got to meet her. But she was super into numerology. Jonathan Roseberry, Pamela. I'm going, and so the greatest part is... All the, um, the JaVinci earrings, they're not for sale because I don't, 
not yet. I'm gonna have these probably on eBay. I will, Angie. I will give you um the the price I decide on these. I'll give you first dibs and let you decide if you want them or not. Um, one time I picked up a runway necklace and it was worth hundreds and hundreds. Well, it was actually a thousand dollar necklace, but I sold it for a few hundred. And so I just want to really make sure this. Bruno, get off the keyboard, baby. Um, make sure I'm not losing my booty on these because, like, you know how it is as resellers when you finally find something that's gonna pro make you a profit. It's really awesome. Oh, does anybody like cats? I got this golden cat brooch, faux golden. It's very pretty. They got bows. <gasps> Jane! Do you want to come on, Jane? Because I sent you the link. If you want, you're more than welcome. And if you don't have the link in your email, it's on the it's in the doggone happy vintage co email account. But if you can't find it, let me know and I'll drop the link in the chat. And I don't know, I think these are super cute. There's the back side. It's like a hammered metal on the back and then a brushed metal on the front and then a polished gold on the little bow tie. So you got all the different textures. It's got the little rollover clasp. And this is going to be $12. And it is number 54. 54, $12 for three little cats. Horizon Picks! How you doing, bud? I miss you. I miss you. I just sent you um Horizon. No, that's not you. I'm thinking of somebody else. Say Horizon Picks pays right away. There's somebody else that I sent it um invoice for last night. Lisa Jenkins. Okay, first. Hello, Horizon Picks. Do you have a channel, by the way? Just wondering. Mm -hmm. And good morning, Lisa. And yes, I am on Instagram under Lucid Curios. It's got the little eyeball, just like my thing on YouTube, so you'll know it's me. Um, and happy Tuesday. Lisa Jenkins, good morning. Jane, good morning. I like to put y'all on the screen. I don't know why. Okay. So Jane, just let me know if you want to jump in. I'm about to do a recap. And so you could, you know, you could do some. Let's see, 53 cat, $12. Bruno, you gotta stay still, buddy. He's trying to walk on everything. But the, okay, let me make you a pack. Yeah, mama, make you a pack. My, my 16 year old basset hound, he doesn't have great balance. Ooh, is it the clothing sale? What sale is it? And yes, I will. Why not? Okay. Cat, $12. Okay, so y'all go to check out Horizon Picks um, in 11 minutes. Okay, let me do my roundup recap, and then I will join you. It's selling everything sale. Okay, so if you don't mind, babe... All them clothes in the trunk, in the bags, are for sale. If you do mind, it's okay. Okay, so. Yeah, I need them for in 11 minutes. Going live with Stephanie. Okay, so this is the little pumpkin planter that I'm obsessed with because it's that old green Japanese style. Look, chip. That's the only reason I'm selling it this cheap. Chip. But you gotta, I mean, you don't see it when you're looking at it. And it'd be great for a little succulent. You could tell it was made by a studio person. Okay, I'll see you soon. Yeah, Jane, you can join me in the morning, no problem. And there's the inside. And it's $6, number one. I'm going to run through it fast, you guys, so y'all pay attention. $6, number one. And if somebody knows, why aren't you a mod on my channel, Stephanie? Somebody knows how to drop links, um, please drop Horizon Pigs link. Add moderator. Okay. 
Um, sorry, I've known Stephanie for since the beginning of time, my time on YouTube. So I just was like, what? Okay. Oh, that's a good question. No. Chow brooch, $4. Number three. Floral earrings or a housewife got. No, no, no. She didn't. She got the rooster ear. The rooster, right? Housewives. Okay. These are the earrings. They're $4. They're floral. They're very vintage looking. Very sparkly. And these are number seven. Four dollars, number seven. Angie, if you did claim these, let me know. I don't remember. Centaur Sagittarius brooch is going to be disappeared. Okay, we'll skip him. Whoopty brooch. Four dollars. Whoopty. It's vintage. It's got that bling bling right there on its thing. It's silver tone. And it's got a little flat back. You did? Okay. Got you, girl. <laughs> and this is $4, number 11. Okay. We're going to do the eye brooches. And you killed anybody that you teardrop that you remember them by. Jonathan keeps laughing like, don't say, don't say that. And this is $8 and it is number five. We have the pottery cat. He's a little dish. He's cute. He's adorable. And he's not signed or anything, but he's very much like stone. Hey, Mary Dugan! Ah! Sorry, I'm trying to run through this. I got another cell in 11 minutes. Okay, this is $6, number 12. We had the angel brooch. She is $6, number 10. We have the little scatter pin owl. He's very bling bling. Cutie patootie. $6, number 32. Oh, we'll add one more. This is a, um, wait, I have to think of the name first. Oh, this is Murano glass. That's what it was labeled at the antique place. Um, pendant. It's very beautiful. And it's going to be $18, number 59. Okay. Then we have these glasses. They're Egyptian. They look like the, I think it's the, uh, I keep forgetting the name. But anyway, they look like Hazel Atlas because they say HA on the bottom, but I haven't researched them yet. It's a set of six. They're all in mint condition, like they sat in somebody's, um, china cabinet but let me make sure and show them all just so you guys see them all six of them and they are eighteen dollars number 34 bull brooch four dollars you mess with bull you get the horns number 24 and you got the french horn hummingbird brooch and he's also a pendant seven dollars number 31 might help if y'all can see it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Wedgwood, but it has H.A. on the bottom. So I need to research it because I think it might be, it's probably a Hazel Atlas. Maybe it's like a knockoff, you know? They tried to mimic Wedgwood. Okay. Jerusalem brooch. I'm kind of glad nobody got this because I kind of love it. $12, number 33, made in Jerusalem. It's lacquer. I believe it's from some type of pea pod, unless that's part of somebody's name, but it says to my love on the back. It says Jerusalem. It actually has praying hands kind of made into it. It's just hard to make out. And that's $12 number 33. Monopoly lights are going to be $15 number 40. You can light up your life and have this cute monopoly set and it the strand looks like this so you got all your pieces the wires down here it's in its box it's hazel okay thank you angie
And that's $15, number 40. Emerald brooch. Emerald, emerald, emerald. Where did you go? You are so beautiful. This is $12, number 42. And it's got these little citrine toned rhinestones around it. And there's the back side. And this is $12, number 42. Then I have an emerald necklace. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Emerald necklace right here. And it is $12, number 45. And rose bowl. This is going to be $10, number 48. It just has one little area of paint loss. I can't even see it on the camera. It's right here above my fingernail. It's tea tiny. I heard Lucy say hi, but I was making lunch for kiddos. Oh. <laughs> and this is $10, number 48. Libra brooch. $6, number 50. And... Incline necklace was twelve dollars. Ah, number fifty-two. It's really long. It's got the lion head. It's got the lion head on the coin, and it, I don't know why it has a thing of wheat or whatever that is, but there it is. And it's got the little incline tag. It's on like a snake chain, gold tone, beautiful. Twelve dollars, number fifty-two. Cat. Oh, cat birch. Cat, cat, cat. It's just got, okay, hammered gold on the back, brushed gold on the front, and polished gold on the bow ties. And then this cat's like see through. And look, their little tails wrap. And it's super cute. And it is $12, number 53. And what did I show? Oh, I did I show that was 18? I don't even remember. Anyway. That's it for today. We had the, you know, um, and if anybody knows what a pair of Lucite candles goes for, somebody tell me. So when I go to Stephanie's channel, I don't know what to ask. I don't know what these go for, but I know they go for a lot. Lucite candles. Anyway, I'm off to see Stephanie at Thrifting Adventure. She sent me the link. So you guys... Hop on over to the Thrifting Adventures channel. Let's see, I'll put her up here. There she is. I'm going to try to find the link for you guys. Um, copy it and then go back. I'm sure you're all subscribed to her, but just in case. You might be a minute or two late. I might just be a minute or two late. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Let me drop the link. Okay. Oh, and Angie, you're my winner today, by the way. That's a link to Stephanie's channel. Angie, 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 Angie. Who? what you get? You got floor earrings and a rooster and a french horn brooch. I know she likes brooches. Um, mom, mom, mom. I know she'd really like this one. Hey, what, what? Okay, Angie. Since you got the big drop dangle earrings that were like, oh, I'm going to send you the emerald brooch. This one I paid up for, but you know, you've been buying a lot for me and I appreciate that. And you're so sweet. So you won today's drawing. This is what you will receive in your package. 18 to 30 ish on the candles girl i see people paying like hundreds in the in the live sales that's crazy okay but but you know i'm not famous like some people so that's gonna be your giveaway and i love you guys and i'll see you on stephanie's channel right now it's right now laura bye i love you guys